Dolphins are one of the most popular marine animals in the world, well regarded for their intelligence and social nature. But there must be more to it than this. In this new Animal Wise video, we bring you these 10 dolphin facts based on scientific research. Some you may already know, but we hope that at least a few surprises lie in store. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with everything we share. Dolphins are mammals belonging to the family Delphinidae, which includes more than 30 different species. It's estimated that there are more than 2,000 dolphins in captivity who live in water parks, dolphinariums, and even in commercial enclosures. It's not possible to provide the exact data regarding dolphin populations in the wild, but it is estimated to be around 9 million individuals. Dolphins are gregarious animals with a tendency to group their own social order. They can create groups of up to 1,000 dolphins, all communicating and relating to each other. The habitat of dolphins and their migration patterns depends on several factors such as food availability, temperature, or distance from shore. They tend to opt for shallow waters near the coast to avoid cooler regions. For this reason, we can find dolphins almost anywhere in the world. The forms of communication dolphins use to interact with each other and their environment is of great interest to the scientific community. Dolphins use a highly developed method of communication known as echolocation. This ability makes them incredibly sensitive to changes in their environment, but they also emit high and low frequency vocal specializations to communicate with each other and even with other marine animals. The wide spectrum of pitches and noises dolphins can emit vary according to their location, and their complexity demonstrates the breadth of their cognitive abilities. Some of the functions of these noises are to recognize specific individuals, to maintain cohesion within the group, and to coordinate movements for hunting and surveillance. A study conducted on a group of bottlenose dolphins in the wild revealed that some individuals, mostly females, use sponges as tools during foraging. After observing them for days, it was concluded that they were being used in search for food. Although this hypothesis is generally supported, it is also believed dolphins can use sponges for both play and to take advantage of their possible medicinal benefits. Whatever the exact reason, the transport of sponges is a common specialised behaviour in dolphins. Dolphins do not dream in the same way as other mammals. In fact, a study published in 1964 explained that bottlenose dolphins slept with one eye open and one closed. They suggested it could be due to a state of alert against possible predators, however it could not be demonstrated this type of behaviour had a real surveillance function. Later, another study of white Pacific dolphins in captivity showed this group are particularly known for opening or closing their eyes depending on the position in the pool of other members of the group. It is believed they open and close their eyes during sleeping hours to ensure they maintain their link with other members of their same social group. In the first stages of life, dolphins feed only on breast milk. After this time, they will start to hunt by themselves and feed on other resources. Dolphins are carnivores and their diet is based mainly on the consumption of fish, octopus, mollusks and other invertebrates. Dolphins can devour surprisingly large prey, even those that can exceed 4 to 6 kilograms, as they gobble instead of chew. This form of feeding means they can avoid damage from the fins or spines of their prey. Dolphins are rational animals in that they are able to understand and represent the environment in which they live, make logical thoughts and draw conclusions from them. They can also modify their behaviours to intentionally create new models of interaction and they look for new perspectives or objectives. These are intelligent animals at the behavioural, cognitive and social level. They are self-aware, capable of carrying out different procedures or enacting methods. They have a social conscience and also show a complex mastery of language and natural forms of intraspecies communication. A study was carried out on bottlenose dolphins in captivity, observing both homosexual and heterosexual behaviours in individuals, as well as the practice of masturbation in males. Likewise, a documentary on homosexuality in the animal kingdom by National Geographic points to dolphins as very active creatures that carry out regular sexual practices. These include sex in pairs with members of the same and different sex, as well as group sex. Cases of dolphin attacks on human beings in the wild are extremely rare. In most cases, dolphins are confusing people with prey, so they end up losing them, but it can also happen if humans bother or try to interact. On the other hand, cases of dolphin attacks on people in captivity are more common. Some dolphin advocacy organisations such as SOS Dolphins point out the living conditions of these animals as the main cause. The living conditions of captive dolphins directly affects their physical and psychological well-being. Although many try to offer a substantial environment and practice mental stimulation, any captive space is limiting compared to the wild and auditory stimuli in these environments can reduce their quality of life. They also reduce natural seawater and base a diet on frozen fish. 
The life expectancy of a dolphin in captivity is around 20 years. In its natural environment, it can be up to 50. Apart from the aforementioned factors, special attention must also be paid to the socialization of dolphins since most of them do not have a sufficiently large group. Some mix family groups with negative consequences, or even keep dolphins isolated on their own. All these factors cause great stress and anxiety in such intelligent animals. Such chronic stress can directly affect their immune system and predisposes them to suffering various diseases. This is why more and more organizations are joining the struggle to move captive dolphins to specialized sanctuaries and marine refuges. What has surprised you the most on our list? What do you think about keeping dolphins in captivity? Leave us your comments below and feel free to make suggestions about upcoming videos. Give us a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. See you next time.